Hello and welcome to this video series on Composer. Now in this video we're going to wrap it all up and this is the final video in this series. This is going to show you how you can publish your web pages with Composer without the need of having any outside assistance from this FTP client or that FTP software. You can do it all from Composer. This again is not a cheap software. This is an inexpensive software. Hey, it's free. What can you say? But I would say that Composer is probably one of the best open source HTML editors on the market right now and it can only get better because of being open source you got a team of people that are doing it all for the mere pleasure of having done so I guess I never worked on a team with open source or over there at SourceForge so I would know personally but I know that whoever is doing it is doing a knockout job thank you very much take your hats off folks to these people they're doing a great job Anywho, that being said let's go ahead and open up our uh, software composer and publish our web pages okay now i went ahead and opened up our composer software and if you like me wanted more room to work with in your composition area and you got rid of the site manager no biggie all you got to do because you kind of want to bring that back the publishing aspect of it is you go up here to view Come over here to the show high, come down here and click on site manager, or of course you can hit the F9 button on your top row of your keyboard, do the same thing. Now what we want to do is get us something over here we can publish, because we go here to click on the uh, edit sites to add our new sites, and right now we don't have any in here. And you can put in here as many as you want, because what we're going to do is we are not going to have to use an outside FTP client like Qt FTP or FileZilla or one of the gazillion other ones that are out there, or even the very, very slow Windows Explorer, which, yeah, you can do it with that as well, but it's really not secure and it's very slow and I don't even want to go into it. But with this publishing aspect and the site manager, we don't have to go to those outside FTP clients. We can do it all from right inside of here. And did I mention the Composer is free? Oh, goodness, I get excited every time I think about it. Okay, so what we want to do now, we got this guy open. Let's open up something here. Let's go ahead and open up that template that we messed with in the last video. Let me see where we at. There we go. Okay. And yeah, we got the image there. That's cool because I want to show you something cool here. So now none of the ch uh, changes took place here because I this is one that we didn't mess with. So we want to first go to, uh, you've made all of your changes. You're ready to publish your page. Bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to go. So we go here, click on edit. We want to go to new site. That's cool. And up here, the site name. Yeah, like it says here, when you put your mouse over it, it gives you the little box there. Uh, just name it anything you want so that it has really no bearing on anything, so you can name it George's site, my site, hey you, whatever. But I'm going to put in my tester site. And here, you want to put in the uh, um, the home page. Uh, like I said, here the HTTP address of your home page. And in my case, it is the stagingserver.com. And let me sit down here. I uh, want the FTP address, and if you're not sure of this information, you can get this from your hosting company, your HostGator, your GoDaddy's, your whatever you want to, you know, whatever your hosting company is. You should have this written down somewhere, folks, but if not, then you want to get it from them, and um, just remember it, write it down somewhere for crying out loud. That's what I need, and most of the time, it's going to start off with an FTP. Um, sometimes it won't. Sometimes you, you won't need this part here. All you need is the FTP dot. You know, again, if you're not certain what it is, get the info from your web server. Now, I want to, uh, in in my case, and it may be the same in yours, but as it, as it points out here, you may have an additional directory you have to upload your stuff to. You can't. A lot of times, you cannot upload it directly to your domain name. And most of the time, it's like public underscore HTML, such as the case in mine anyway. So I need to put that in there and then P-U-B-L-I-C underscore HTML. And if it's a different folder, then likewise, you just, again, if you're not certain, go to the H or go to your web server, web hosting company, and get the info from them. Username and the password is, and I would say go ahead and click on save password because otherwise there's going to be times whenever you're going to upload and whatnot that the program may ask for your password again if you don't have this ticked. And if nothing else, you'll have to type all this stuff in every time otherwise. So just tick on that new site, and then boom, there we go. And if, actually, you don't have to do that, but if you've got other sites that you want to possibly 
upload to at, at, with other pages you're going to be working on. Load them all up in here, buddy. Load them all up in here. That's what this is for. This is a FTP client, just like your files, uh, Zillas or your uh, uh, WSFTPs or your Smart FTPs or Qt FTPs. Only this doesn't cost you nothing, and it's all wrapped into one program called Composer. Okay, so we're good to go with. It. Now then, right here we are. Let's go ahead. We've made our changes and. We want to publish this guy so we can go up here to publish brings this up what do we got here under settings I'm not really sure pretty much what we just inserted earlier yep that's the right folder okay now one thing I want to know I want you to notice though is that here under um, kind of right down here at the bottom oh yeah the page title again if you want if you got a different um, title you want to put in here by all means do so uh, but here you want to tick this, use the same location as page, or use this site subdirectory. What I would do, and this is the cool thing about this software, is if you tick this, go in here, and you've got a separate images folder. There you go. And now then it will put this image not in the same folder as your index HTML, your public underscore HTML, um, but it will put it in the separate folder known as images. And this is assuming, of course, you've already got this folder named or made on your server. I don't think it will create the folder. It will only put the images in the folder named this. So if you don't have a folder on your web host uh, on your server already named images, you may want to do that before you do this. Okay, now then, that being said, click publish. Over here, should give you a green check mark when it's all done. And we're good. Cool. See how easy that was? Now then, let's go to our uh, browser and see if it worked. Okay, that's the one on my desktop here. And there we have it, the stagingserver.com. And there we go. And we've got the uh, images showing up here. Everything is as it should be. Ain't that cool? And oh, and if you want to make a change, for example, let's say we wanted to put a subheading right here in between these two paragraphs. Well, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Come on back here and right in here, give it a little space. Come on up here. Subheading. And let's give this bad boy, uh, let's say, an H2. Okay, and let's save. Looks good. Overwrite it. And let's see how it treats this as far as if it's going to ask us, because I'm not really sure yet, uh, see if it's going to ask us, do you want to overwrite the existing index.html file or not? So let's just go ahead and publish. All this is the same. Everything's cool. Click on publish. I guess it didn't ask us, so hopefully we <laughs> had the changes we wanted. Now let's go back to our browser and refresh and see if that pops in right up in here. There you go. That's how you can make changes on the fly. That's how you can publish within Composer. That is how powerful the software is. This is just awesome. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what additions they can add to this free software down the line. So stay tuned, folks. Thank you very much for checking out this web ser or this uh, video series on Composer. And I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned a lot. So if you haven't yet, get out there and download your copy of Composer. Thank you much for watching, and have a great day.